So, made it home from Salt Lake City. Took all the bags off the bike, because every once in a while I like to ride it when it looks like a super bike. And uh, I got my cameras. We're gonna ride into town to check the mail before it snows, because it's literally gonna start snowing here in a few hours. And uh, if I can ride, I'm going to. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the road here in a little bit. All right, talk about haphazard mic placement. Let's, uh, this poor bike don't have reverse. It's very unfortunate. Don't need to go adjusting mirrors with other motorcycles. Anyway, we're gonna run to my mailbox because there's a paycheck waiting. And uh, I need paychecks. Lots and lots of paychecks. Experimenting with some camera angles here. Please forgive me for inadequate filming. <clears throat> Judge me harshly. I don't care. Fire's right up. We gotta hit the road though. Storm is approaching. Over yonder ways, let's turn on the good camera. Okay, that camera should be up and running. Uh, over there in the foothills is snow. So we gotta run and go get the mail. Um, this microphone really should be clipped like right here. But I don't know. I'll give it a try. So yeah, it's uh, really friggin' windy. There's no way this microphone's gonna work from where it's at. No way, no way at all. Uh, it's 54 degrees with about 50 mile an hour winds. We can try this camera. Camera on! No SD card! Hey, it's recording. Alright, so I can at least get some sound through this. So if I'm smart enough to close my helmet, then at least we've got audio through this one and video too, which is kind of weird because I got video over here too. But yeah, as you can see on the horizon over there, uh, snow. <laughs> That's only 20 miles away. 20 miles away and there's friggin' snow coming. Um, so I'm going to be in a bit of a hurry uh, to go check my mail checking my microphone i didn't charge my microphone the battery's almost completely dead but we'll see what it picks up if it picks up anything at all i don't have to ride too far to my mailbox and uh i need to get my check cashed and in the bank and uh, I don't trust where my microphone is right now, so I'm going to put it in a safe spot, preferably where I can charge it. And, uh, you know, as I always say, keep watching. Recording. Recording. So I got the mic sitting out the front. And uh, we got to get, we got to get trucking. I don't want to deal with the snow. This bike, uh, it's got new tires, but they ain't snow tires. All right, hopefully you can hear me. And uh, if you can't hear me, it's your loss, not mine. 
because I'm trying my best. Uh, speaking of trying my best, you'll see uh, they've already pre-soaked the roads out here because they think it's going to snow. Well, they know it's going to snow. The snow is actually behind me right now. It's going to snow. There's, there's no stopping it. Recording. I don't trust any of the turns out here. We're going to take the back way. Triple chirp. Yeah, I'm not going to ride through downtown right now. I'm going to take the back way. It's a little safer. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but where my microphone's placed on the main camera, uh, it's going to pick up the sound of the bike, I believe. And uh, right now I've got 12 volt running to it. Uh, because I forgot to charge the battery on the microphone. I think these Rode microphones, you can charge them while you're using them. And uh, if not, I've made a horrible mistake. That's okay. You know, uh, happy trees. Uh, the trees right now are unhappy. You see them trees? I don't think any of these trees are happy right now. It is not springtime yet. I don't know if uh, you can look over my shoulder behind me there. You see the snowstorm coming? 
Yeah, it's it's we're having snow tonight. All these clouds are telling me it's going to snow. Um, they haven't canceled the routes yet. They keep threatening to. Uh, and, and and I'll see. You know, I, I wake up at one o'clock in the morning, and you know they'll tell me whether or not I'm working or not. More than likely, I'll wind up going to Salt Lake City again because the route going to uh, the route going up to Portland is is actually completely snowed in. And you know, if you, if you watch the weather reports right now, like here's a picture of Los Angeles. Yeah, it's covered in snow. Here's a picture of San Francisco. Yeah, that's 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 covered in snow. Here's uh, Sacramento, California. Up, oh, solid block of ice. Uh, there's Fresno. Uh, what other towns in California are covered in snow? Um, uh, Merced, uh, Bakersfield. Um, where else could I say is completely covered in snow? Uh, Las Vegas. Yeah, Las Vegas is completely covered in snow. Um, Phoenix, Arizona is covered in snow so yeah just just so you know right now where i'm at right now fallon nevada no snow not yet coming soon to a fallon near you recording You can tell I'm a truck driver because I uh, I rev bomb on my on my downshifts. It's not called rev bombing; it's rev matching, Sterling. Professional terms around here. We got children watching. Maybe I should shift. First gear is good for what? Fifty. <laughs> In a twenty-five. Yeah, let's let's calm our let's calm our delicate titties right now. I absolutely hate riding in the wind. I hate driving in the wind. I hate working in the wind. I hate sleeping in the wind. I hate the wind. Only because the wind is offensive right now. You know, the wind, I didn't start. I didn't start this. This is all Mother Nature. You know, I'm out here minding my own business, trying to ride my Yamaha FJR 1300. Which uh, recently turned over 35,000 miles. It's 2007, and uh, I need to do. I need to check the valve adjustment on it in the near future, and I also need to synchronize the uh, uh, the throttle bodies. And uh, we're t- this is a uh, Highway 95, by the way. If I kept going straight, I'd get to Vegas. Not going to Vegas today. Uh, I just need to go to the mailbox. <laughs> Get to my mailbox. Check my mail genitalia. Um, looking for a paycheck. I usually, I usually get it by Friday. I don't have uh, direct deposit enabled because um, I wasn't, I wasn't sure if I was going to stay with the bank that I'm at right now. Um, Wells Fargo is a little weird. Um, let's just say if you're a truck driver and uh, you protested incorrectly. Uh, they will freeze your bank account. And uh, since I'm known for my ardent protesting, I don't know if that's a correct terminology for it. Let's just say I'm a, a vibrant protester, and I'm also a truck driver. I am susceptible to uh, bank accounts getting frozen for my opinions. My incorrect opinions, my incorrect personal opinions, because uh, that's the world we live in now. Is uh, if you've got the wrong opinion, they'll steal your show. They'll take your show from you, just like Dave Chappelle said. You say the wrong thing, they'll they'll take your show. I'm not sure what parking spot I want, so I'll just take them both. Because, uh, you know, who's going to stop me? The law? Come on now. Recording. Recording. Yes, it's recording. 
Uh, oh, flags are fucked up. Uh, we've had some pretty terrible winds out here. I'll ride downtown, show you kids uh, the bustling metropolis of uh, now and Make sure my kickstand's up. I know my kickstand's up because the bike didn't uh, abruptly shut itself off. Because that's what happens if you try to ride with your uh, kickstand down. You put it in gear, it'll it'll die. It'll shut the ignition off. Get your GMC in gear. So yeah, I'll show you kids. I'll show you kids downtown. Just in case the wind is horrible, which it is. So, welcome to Fallon, Nevada. I should probably do a voiceover here and tell you about the history. And God damn, she's got tattoos everywhere. Uh, Nugget Casino, downtown. Yeah, the, uh, the Fallon Theater. We got the theater. We got the theater. Um, there's a tattoo shop. There's a place over here. There's our fountain, a downtown sign. Founded in 1908. 1908 Fallon, Nevada. Um, they, they they take care of it, you know. It's it's clean. You know that used to be like a pool hall, uh, bar and stuff, but they went out. They ran out of business. And then over here, uh, that's our our Chinese restaurant. It's terrible. Oh God, is it awful? And then Hex Meat is our uh, butcher. Then we got a pawn shop with a ninja. A ninja and an SV. That red bike right there. It's a Suzuki SV. Oh, look how messy it is, though. Look at those forks. Look at the forks. Oh, that poor bike. That bike's been beat to hell. Let's, uh, I don't know if you kids knew this, but Fallon has a dark, seedy red light district. It's where we go. This is where we go for our cocaine and loose women. There's one right there. Kids looking for a dumpster to sleep behind? Right there. I bet you kids didn't even know we had a red light district here in Fallon. You're like, what? This fine American city? Why would there be a red light district here? This, this is all fine, upstanding white Americans. got a seedy dark underworld of Fallon, Nevada. Look out. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking, but there's freaking gravel all over the road. I need to start paying attention. And uh, Fallon has a tunnel. Low clearance, 10 foot 8. No swift trucks allowed. No Schneider trucks allowed. I should probably turn off my turn signal. Actually, we will go left. I'll show you kids. Uh, show you kids more of the downtown. Because you haven't had enough. I know you haven't. I know you kids like the downtown areas. The seedy downtown area. That's our uh, our courthouse. Right next door to it's the old jail. But yeah, uh, Fallon was founded in 1908. It is a agriculture town, and it's also a navy town. Uh, if you ever hear of Top Gun, not the movie, the actual training facility is here in Fallon, Nevada. Um, I believe it used to be in Southern California, 
at, I think it was El Toro Air Force Base, something like that. I don't know if it was Air Force or Navy Base. Anyway, <laughs> not long after the movie was made, uh, I believe they moved Top Gun uh, out here to Nevada. It's closer to the Nevada Test Range, which provides, uh, you know, open skies for our, our boys to uh, fly their airplanes around and pretend to dogfight and practice their targeting and dogfighting skills and stuff. It's actually really, really cool. The skies above Nevada are, are pretty desolate. That's, uh, I mean, even the ground of Nevada is desolate. Uh, that's our favorite Mexican restaurant, La Fiesta. Uh, that's our favorite Philippine restaurant, uh, Annalise Cafe, which is really good. Which is actually very good. That guy has a stop sign. I don't. And uh, that's pretty much it for downtown. <laughs> uh, there's not a whole lot to show you, kids. I, I'm, I'm sorry. My apologies. Please don't. Please don't desubscribe or uh, unlike this video. Oh, we got doggy. Round and round. Doggy, doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Jump the fence. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Oh, dogs deserve to ride on motorcycles. I don't care who you are, what religion you are. Uh, it, it, dogs deserve motorcycle rides. Can you imagine how, how how absolutely a you know what? I like riding motorcycles. Maybe I'm part dog. You know how dogs like to stick their head out the window and stuff. If you're riding a motorcycle, you're basically a dog. You're just out here with your your tongue out in the air. Did you realize that? Uh, most of the white women out here have really shitty looks on their face. Just They just hate the world. They just hate men. Or they hate guys on like Yamaha motorcycles that don't know how to stop. You know, if you look at Red Lady, she, she doesn't have that resting bitch face that uh, most women in Fallon have. That's, 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 I'm sticking to my story. Recording. All right, so we're making our way towards the bank and uh, deposit my check and then get home. I don't know if you can see on the horizon, but the uh, storm is approaching. The wind has changed direction. It is now coming from the south. As I was riding into town, it was coming from the east. And, uh, you know, storms will do that to you. They like to mix it up. So you gotta be careful. Never know what a storm will do to you. <laughs> 